Everyone, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. As always, if you love the Second Amendment, if you believe your rights should not be infringed on, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell. That way you don't miss anything new. So the other day, the governor of New Hampshire went on The View. Now, if you don't know what The View is, I don't blame you. I don't even know why people watch it anymore. All they do is they sit there and are unrealistic about everything that's going on in this country. And one of the people that run it is Whoopi Goldberg. Now, don't get me started on her, but let's just listen to this for a second and let's just break it down because my God, I mean, there are legitimate people who watch this show who like it, who are like, oh my God, wow, I love to listen to these ladies who have this crazy looking hair. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised they don't have a drag queen on there yet, but I mean, it's never too late. Quick question for everyone. Has anyone heard of this website called Gunspot? They've actually gotten a lot of spotlight from media companies lately for being the Craigslist of gun owners. Obviously the agenda of any of those outfits is to discredit anything that goes against their agenda. It's an interesting idea though that someone can create an account and get access to thousands of other private firearm owners. Gunspot strives to make it super simple to connect firearm owners that may be looking for a specific item or to just find a great deal out there. So the question I have is, do y'all think Gunspot is a good alternative than just going down to your neighborhood shop? And as governor, um, you've loosened gun laws in your state and you hold an A rating from the, for the NRA. No law you're going to pass that it's just going to magically stop gun violence. However, there was a law that was passed, and that law was passed in 1997. It was a federal assault weapons ban, and it cut it, but 1994 rather, and it cut um, gun violence by 70 percent. And the mass minute shootings. it was reinstated, mass shootings. Yeah. shoot yeah. mass shootings. And the minute it was reinstated, they went up. Why yeah. not yeah. put that law back? In no, place? no, no. So, he, like, like, understand. What's the crowd clapping for? Like, do they pay you to come to the show? Do you have to buy tickets to this? I don't know how it all works. But if you're clapping after that, you're either trying to plan to nurse from Whoopi Goldberg or they've trained all of you. Democrats had the House, the Senate, and the presidency for two years. They did nothing. They made a mistake. Guys, they did nothing. That was Because a they know, guys, at the, I, I have the safest state in the country. You can talk about the, the validity, the merits of a law are based on the results it gets. I have the, the safest state in the country, so why are we having the mass shootings? It's not because people have access to guns. It's because we're not dealing with mental health. We don't provide access for mental health with kids. When people are in crisis, they have nowhere to turn. They resort to violence. Look, I agree with the whole, we aren't addressing mental health very well. I think a lot of it is on the person though, right? You can't go to every single house in America and say, well, how are you feeling today? If they weren't feeling good or if they were having some mental breakdown, would they even be honest with you? Would they even tell you? Probably not because you're a complete stranger and they don't trust you. So the mental health issue in this country is on the person to say, okay, I need to go talk to somebody. The real problem is the culture that has been created in America and that is promoted by every major media outlet and by the White House. It's Okay, well, um, if you don't like being a man, uh, we'll just give you hormone therapy. And, um, you know, it's going to pretty much screw your brain up as far as mental health goes because it's not natural. And hormones really mess with how you feel. But no, no. I mean, just to, you decided, go for it. The culture has to change. And until the culture changes, we can have all the best mental health stuff in the entire world. People have to see that what they're doing is a problem first before they say, oh, okay, well, I should probably go talk to someone. I should probably get this addressed. But people don't wanna do that because it's the new culture. It's, oh, we're woke. That is the problem. Now, this is my favorite part from Whoopi. I mean, you've already said this before. Not really sure how you plan on doing this, but Let's just hear it. We don't do the right things in terms of locking down our schools and protecting. What's wrong the with core getting, of the issue is why, mental health. Why, is, why are you holding on to this one gun? Yeah. What is it about this really? one gun? The AR-15. The AR-15. <sighs> you guys, you're just, you're almost too stupid to insult. And it's probably not your fault. You think that talking about our guns is good enough just to come from your heart, right? Oh, well, we need to ban them because this is happening and we're scared of this. The problem is that if you don't come to people like us with logic, no emotion involved, pure logic, 
We're just gonna pick you apart. Like you just said, oh, well, why can't we just ban this one gun? Okay, let's go with that. Let's say today, the Magic Fairy from The View banned, not even banned, let's say made all of the AR-15s in the world disappear. Guess what would be the next problem? <laughs> Ever heard that sound, Whoopi? That is an AK-47. And guess what? It's semi-automatic. Actually shoots a bigger round than an AR-15. And my God, when you shoot them, they feel like you're working a damn machine in your hand. I like shooting these better than AR-15s. But no, your argument is, well, why can't we just get rid of this one weapon. What do you think Americans would do? Americans are pretty damn intelligent, so they'd probably say, okay, well, let's go get some AKs. Now, if it wasn't stupid enough that Whoopi said, well, why don't we just ban the one gun, the AR-15? Then this other woman, I forget her name, and I don't really care to learn it, says, yeah, the automatic one. Why are you holding on to this one gun? Yeah. What is it about this <laughs> one gun? <laughs> The automatic rifle that killed a bunch yeah. of children who were just going to school. That if, gun. I mean, who who's the director of your show? Do they have any sense either? Like, if you want to put a disclaimer up before you start your show and say, look, there may be times where we completely talk out of our ass. And I want all of our viewers to be okay with it. We're just super emotional here. And we say things that are just simply false. So just understand that before you watch. Now look, I will give Whoopi a little bit of credit here. She controls her crowd and says, no, 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 you don't boo anybody. But then listen to this next part that she says. This is wild. Like the, all over the world. Stop. No, 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 no. No booing. No Republican will ever come back here if you're gonna you know, boo. You know, you we, know, we need to talk to <laughs> people to find back. out what they're thinking and are they thinking in the right way. He's not gonna be perfect, none of them are. Are they thinking in the right way and he's not going to be perfect, none of them are. So by saying that, you're assuming that you're perfect? That you're thinking in the right way? Okay, let's just go over your thinking really quick. You think that banning an AR-15 or making them all disappear would stop anything. Sorry, but there's more than one style of semi-automatic rifle out there. So your thinking is somehow better than his? Okay. Two, your friend over there thinks that an AR-15 is automatic. Is that good thinking for you guys? Okay. And lastly, you just had an entire show where you just spit out false statements about gun control, about guns, about the Second Amendment, about everything. So yes, we all need to make sure that we think like Whoopi Goldberg in the future. <laughs>